Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, math and logic games. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge and today I'm talking about math and logic games. It's a sneaky way to get your kids to do some math and think in creative ways about math problem solution. And uh, we're going to start with a classic game that is available uh, on the iPad. The first one I want to show you is Mastermind. This is a classic game and you can play, you can set difficulty, you can get uh, the rules of how to play but the game is simple, you have colors and you can actually put them in order and say how many of those are correct or incorrect and you break the code that the computer has created. So this is a simple game that allow or demands kids to create logical thinking thinking in steps and multiple step problems that is great training for thinking about math problems and problems, problem solving in general. The second app is a new app that I really love and it's called Slice It and in Slice It what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to actually cut shapes into equal parts and you get points for getting close but really what they're trying to do is have you estimate exactly how will you cut a shape into equal parts. And you can see these are the shapes I've already done. So let's look at a complex shape. This is a complex shape that has been created and I need to slice it into six pieces. So I can just draw. Now I've got three four and that was not a good solution because what I had left was too big to make equal and I can retry and see if this would be more helpful not a good solution either however if you want to see obviously this is too hard for me and um, I can go into a different level this is into two slices, I may be able to do this. And you clear and you get stars depending on how close it is. Now you can calculate this or you can estimate. Both are really good qualities and things we want kids to do as they think about complex shapes. So estimation is an important skill but also is calculation, especially calculation of area and trying to figure out exactly how much it has to be. So you can see that despite the fact that I tried, the numbers are not equal but they're close enough to be acceptable to the game. So this one is called Slice It. It's a great game. It's simple concept which really demands some concentration from our students. Um, so the first one is Telling Time and that is for younger kids obviously that are still learning to tell time and telling time has two different modes that you can use when you've got the free version if you want to upgrade and pay for the full version you get some other games as well one is set the time so the clock is set and now it says you have this to set the time to four o'clock so you can move it using the minutes or you can move it using the hours I love the fact that there is in there also a way to show what time of day it is. So this is 4 a.m. and I'm clicking on solve and I got a solution and now I get a new problem and that is to set it to 11 and you can set it and If you need directions, the directions are there, both in picture and in text. And if you go back, you can also play a game of stop the clock. And that is a game where, so you tap to start, stop the clock at, so it will go and I need to stop it at 1121. Seems like a hard task. And so you get the points there. 
and you can make it faster or slower, so it's a little bit more of a challenge. But this is a way to get kids to be very precise about the way they tell time. And you can change the clock, so you can use different formats of clocks. There are only two in the basic version, there are more in uh, other versions. And so there's lots of ways you can use this to have kids practice very general. You saw that in the uh, basic change the clock to the right time. It was in whole hours only, but if you change the settings, you can get it down to every 15 minutes or every five minutes or even by the minute. So the different levels, as kids learn more how to tell time, they can use it. So this is telling time. And the last app I want to talk about is Yodolo. And Yodolo is a practice app for basic calculations. And what you do in Yodolo is really climb up the mouth mountain by level and you can choose the operation so you can choose all operations uh, as I just did or you can choose a specific operation and the math you have to do gets more and more complicated as it goes along so a problem is presented 10 times 1 and that you would be 10 and you move up as things go well uh, 5 times 10, 50 can see there's a lovely music to go with it. See this gets actually quite challenging um, as you go along especially if you mix up the levels and if you get it wrong then you start climbing and if you get all the way to the top and you fall down that's when the game is over. So the more questions you answer correctly you end up lower if you don't, then you're going to eventually fall off the mountain and the game is then over. You've got a high score and you always try to beat your high score. This is like other games. This is a great way to keep kids uh, motivated about practicing their math and having fun while they're actually doing some serious work of being able to automatically solve simple calculation problems. So these are four different apps that help kids practice math and do it in creative ways and in ways that force them to think logically about the problems that are in front of them and not just calculation, although calculation is a part of this. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.